Hey you guys, it's Christina. Today we are going to be making fully raw burritos. <laughs> I hope you're excited because this recipe is beautiful. It is, has every color of the rainbow in it. It is satisfying, it's vibrant, it's low in fat, it's fully raw. It's great to bring with you to any party, to share with family and your friends. And I personally love to just like get my whole face in the burrito and eat every little part of it. It is that good. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. The tortilla of this recipe is going to be a giant collard leaf. You wanna make sure you get a really big one. The bigger the leaf, the bigger your burrito. Colorful bell peppers. You can use red, yellow, or orange. You'll probably use about one to two whole bell peppers. Alfalfa sprouts. Tomatoes. A bunch of cilantro. Carrots, which we will eventually shred or dice to put in the burrito. One cucumber, which we will also cut up and dice to put in. A quarter of one avocado green onions if you so desire them. I love for mine to have a little kick, so mine will include a few arugula leaves. Cherry tomatoes if you want them in there. Two to three lemons, we'll be using the juice from those lemons. A quarter cup of sesame seeds, cumin, a little bit of zucchini, and as a final option, some habanero peppers or some spicy chili peppers. So the first thing that we're gonna do to make our burrito is we are going to take our beautiful burrito tortilla leaf, our collard leaf, and we are gonna make our beautiful, awesome sauce on the side, right? It's gonna be a beautiful red pepper dressing type of spread, and we're just gonna rub it all over the leaf. That way it's just like the whole thing is just doused in flavor. So, we are gonna cut up our zucchini and our bell pepper. We're gonna add in our lemons, our green onions. We're gonna throw in our sesame seeds and our cumin, and we'll be on our way to creating the best spread ever. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take your giant colored leaf and you want to destem it. So you'll see in the back right here, we're gonna take this part and we're just gonna slightly take off the thick part. That way when we roll it up, it nicely rolls into a usable tortilla-like of strip. And when you're ready, you're just gonna spread on your awesome sauce. Mm. Then, when you're ready, you can chop up your bell peppers into simple slices, and then we're going to put them all onto the bottom part of our burrito. You can add a little bit of red onion in there if you wish. And I've also chopped up my bell peppers in a different way because it's all about textures here. You never want to cut anything the same. You're going to take your cucumbers and you're going to dice those up into big, chunkier consistencies because those are super crunchy. Lay those on in as well. We'll have our carrots, which you can add on in. And when you're ready, we can also add in our tomatoes. I've gone ahead and I've chopped up a little bit of my arugula and my cilantro. I'm gonna sprinkle those on top. And if you wanna go ahead and add in your avocado, and notice that I'm only putting in a quarter, because a quarter is all I pretty much need to keep this low fat. And for a final touch, we're gonna add in just a few of our alfalfa sprouts. Are you looking at this? Are you looking at this massive heap of gorgeous deliciousness that I'm about to roll up in here? Look at that. Let's roll this baby. When you're ready, I'm just gonna take it and you're gonna slice it in half. Wait for it. Oh yeah. Look at that gorgeous deliciousness right there. Look at this, you see it? Are you ready for the final taste? Maybe I can pick this up without having it fall totally everywhere. You ready? All right, ready? Oh my God. <laughs> that was so good. Mmm. That tastes like a different experience <laughs> right there. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do. 
And if you feel like getting your burrito baby on, and if you can just taste the crunch through your screen right now, I think you should give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> I can't wait for you to try it. Please tell me in your comments below how much you love it. Or if you think that there's something that you would want to add as well, please. I love seeing your comments and I love it when you leave me hugs. So thank you if you do. If you guys want to see more tips or tricks or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe to my channel here at Fully Raw Christina, where I try and inspire you to be healthier on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys can also keep track with me daily as I post what I eat and what I love to eat at my Facebook page at Fully Raw Christina. And I'm also on Instagram now at Fully Raw Christina as well. All right, you guys, I got some eating left to do, so I will see you later. Hugs. Mmm. 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 One more bite. One more bite. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm.